That was funny, wasn't it? Was it funny? I thought it was funny. Hey, gonna do a June favourites because it's July now and I had some favourites. Again, if you're bored and you're not bothered about my June favourites, then one, I'm not really sure why you're watching, and two, it's quite easy just to unsubscribe or just press stop. Um, firstly, I got my glasses on because I got uh, these. This arm had fallen off for ages ago, and I fixed it with a safety pin, which you might have seen on my Instagram. But I went into Spec Savers, and there was a man in there that looked like Jesus, but he was Indian. So Indian Jesus fixed it for me, and he didn't charge me anything. And they got the light pink, and they got stars on the side. Um, I got them from Camden a long, long time ago, and Vision Express said, no, we can't put lenses in there, and they're going to break. And I said, well, can you try it? I'll pack. And I have got the cheapest lenses in them, about 50 quid, I think. Um, so, yeah, so I've got some funky glasses. I just have to be careful that the lenses don't pop out. They're all right. Okay, here. Yeah. Stop babbling, Claire. Okay, foot favourite first. Sorry, it's a bit shiny in here, but I've opened the blinds right up and opened the window because it's hot, basically. So you just have to deal with my face reflecting. Pumice stone. Can't go wrong with one of them in the summer. That's been one of my favourite things. And heel genius from Soap and Glory after I've pumiced my feet. I'm just finding somewhere where I can put things that I've done so I don't do them twice. Then, oh, shite, my phone's on the floor. Then you will get bored. I don't know if you can hear that. That's another one of my favourites. It's Absolute Radio. Um, I don't know if you can get it in everywhere, but it's a UK station. It's called Absolute 80s Radio, and it's been my favourite thing. Um, so yeah, that's the foot thing, foot favourite, and then this, I might have showed it already, let me just turn it down a little bit. Um, it's called Nina Ultra Pro in Punky Purple, now talking to you I think I have mentioned it before, but it goes on that and I really like this on my toenails for the summer. Um, a beauty... Thing, which isn't new it's old it's a BB cream all in one but from body shop now my shade is 02 I would have said that was a bit dark for the winter but for the summer it's really cool um, can you see there it's white okay it's gonna be magic if I can show you properly Can you see? It's changing into foundation. Well, not foundation, but it's like a tinted moisturiser. You can't really see it that well for the light, but as I say, I'm, I've opened the window and I've opened the blinds, so just stop your complaining. Um, next beauty favourite, which I briefly showed in my summer makeup video I did yesterday, I think it was. Um, but I don't think I showed you, it was Body Shop vitamin C skin reviver and it's uh, just it's a very mattifying skin treatment um, and it's just smoothing radiance and it's really nice to put on underneath your foundation so it keeps it looking and not so shiny during the day it is very silicony though it does leave that film so if you don't like that you won't like it, but I just use a tiny weeny little bit. Um, so, why has it stopped? Why have you stopped? Oh well, hopefully it'll come back on. Sorry, I'm just going to... Absolute radio has gone quiet. Why have you chucked me out? It's chucked me out of the app. No, the app's not working. Sorry about that. Got Pass back.
Survivor. I have the tiger. Um, I forgot what I was saying about nails. Um, I painted my nails a lot, a lot, a lot in June. And they got really, because with gel polishes you're supposed to soak them off in acetone and not try and peel them off all in one go because it's really satisfying to do that. Um, and I did that quite a lot and then my nails went all really 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 thin and bendy um, so I've chopped them all off and I'm just giving them a break and I'm using something called Marvella um, nail hardener but I've just basically just given them a complete break but as I say, throughout June, I was using my gel polishes a lot, and this one was my favourite. It's like a minty pastel um, green, almost like a seaweedy sort of colour. It's definitely a, a beachy green. Um, let me just show you what it looks like when it comes out. See? It's a rip-off of Gelish, this one, sister. Probably said it before. Um, but it's only three ninety nine compared to like seventeen quid for gelish, so I use that one. Uh, right, a beauty brush favourite. George's George's come back in from being in the sun and he's panting. George, come here. In case you thought that was a dirty old man panting in the background, it's just George. He's sat in the sun too long. Um, once I've put my concealer on under here, I use this brush, which is. A pointed foundation brush which is too small to do your foundation with but I really like it to dab it in my powder and then pat 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 under here and it sets my concealer um, and wherever else you've put um, concealer you can set it over your spots or you could also dust your powder just where you want it around your nose where you get shiny so that's that one um, I'm just going mismatch here. I'm not doing like face beauty or all that. I'm just doing it as I go. Um, this has been my favourite ring in June. It's studs and it's got little gemstones in it. It's silver. My nan got it for me and she's got brilliant taste. She knows me exactly. It's a really cool ring. Um, the, I've got one in gold which is all studs but this one I really like because it's got the gemstones in it and makes it a little bit more kind of feminine as I do I'm sure people think I'm a lesbian a lot which I don't really care about because I go out into town without Tony a lot because he doesn't really like going into town and um, I'm not really bothered if people think I'm a lesbian then all the weirdos leave me alone so but anyway that just make the little gems make it look a little bit more pretty um, next one is, oh, that was from Primark, I believe, Body Shop, eBay, the nail varnish, um, the BB cream, yeah, Body Shop, um, ah, this nail varnish was from Sally's, um, Heel Genius was from Boots, and so was the Pumice. Um, oh, and the you can get all the Real Techniques brushes from um, Boots or online, I think. Oh. Uh, I believe this was some super drug. It's sea salt, urban fudge, and it's texturising spray for raw beach hair. I Once I've done my hair, it just smells so good, like pineapple and passion fruit really really nice I squirt a bit in my hands and then I just kind of put the sides down and run a bit through so it kind of texturizes it up a bit I'm gonna say a non beauty favorite something I hated in June was if you saw my quick haul which was this inset extra hold hairspray and um, which I got from beauty UK um, just don't buy this stuff guys or if you do buy it spray it on your hairbrush and then put it through your hair don't get it near your skin because I squirted it on myself and I've got all these spots all around my scalp line because it's obviously too strong or it's got something nasty in it so um, just avoid it at all costs really Sorry if you're the makers of Inset and you're watching this. Sorry my chair's squeaking as well. 
should stop apologising, really, because if you didn't like it, you wouldn't be watching, but that's just me. Um, skin System Vitamin E Face Wash from Asda. Now, my May favourite was the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Face Wash, which ran out. So I had this in my um, bathroom basket, and it's really nice. It hasn't, hasn't really got a scent, it's just kind of that face washy smell, um, nothing too strong, might be a little hint of cucumber or something but it's um, really good at taking your more, um, your makeup off and uh, still being um, gentle. I've got the toner as well but um, I don't use that as much. Um, something else that I've really liked in June, <laughs> my antidepressants. <laughs> Ciprolex. Now, I've been on these for about three years. Um, nothing in particular happened to me. Um, I just started getting really miserable and crying for no reason and feeling really, really, really low. And the doctor put me on 10 milligrams and for three years I've been thinking, well, it stopped me crying. That must just be what they do. So, um... I, it got worse and worse and I went to see a counsellor and she said, look, 10 milligrams is nowhere near enough. So I was thinking, you know, I'm a big girl, so maybe that they didn't give me enough. So they put me on to 15, didn't really make much difference. And I went to see another doctor and he was like, no, go on 20 milligram. And I've probably been on them for about four or five weeks now on the 20 milligrams and it's just made a huge amount of difference. Now, I don't know whether that's because I'm seeing the counsellor alongside because I've not been working maybe um, because I've been looking to do a job that I really enjoy I'm trying to get back into the veterinary nursing working with animals again or at least something really customer focused where I'm busy 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 all the time so yeah well done Ciprolex we like you and well done for the doctor for putting me on the right dose so um, I will wean off them gradually but there we go I'm sure a lot of you will um, realise where I'm coming from there. But Okay, another one. Now, a lot of people with blonde hair use blue shampoos. These ones that you'll find in pound shops or um, cheapy shops, pound stretchers and the like, I got these from Discount UK, is Bristow um, Silver Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, it's a lot cheaper than um, Be Blonde and... Um, I don't know who else makes it, Jerome Russell is it, I don't know, but a lot of them make it, Provoke do one too, which is the two weekly one and they've started to do a daily one now, but um, so much cheaper, the only thing I don't like about them is they're the screw tops, so you do squeeze out a little bit more than you need to, but hey ho, it's cheap enough, and they also do a leave-in treatment, which I use wet or dry, Sometime, sorry, um, keep itching my nose because I've got hay fever. Um, but again, um, it's just to stop apologising, really. Because if I if I want itch my nose, I'll itch my nose. And if you don't like it, as I say, unsubscribe. Yeah, good one, Bristow's. Give it a try. And I think it, this is my last kind of beauty favourite is. As does Little Angel's Liquid Talc. This is really cool because I'm quite big breasted and I get quite hot under that area. And I put this on and it's really nice. Nice for your feet as well. Anywhere you might get a little bit moist and clammy. Just said moist because I like that word. Um, it's really nice. Uh, make sure you wash your hands afterwards because when you pick something up, you'll leave like a talky, spunky mark on your clothes. So, yeah. Uh, prevents chapping. Moisturises baby skin. Hypoallergenic. And it smells lovely. <laughs> oh. Oops. Exactly like babies. That's what it smells like. Oh no, it is literally everywhere. Never mind. Mm, babies. Yeah, so use that instead of your actual um, bottle of talcum powder because then you don't get it everywhere. Just put it where you want to put it. Um, 
bag that I've been reaching for this month is this one. It's got a little tassel, it's got a chain, it's got what I've got in here, it's a purse. It's got your little um, tampon coin compartment as well. This was from Forever 21, first time I used it, it broke. Oh, I just smacked myself in the face. Can you see? Broke. So I just put a hole in it and clipped the clip through. Now I like it again. I was going to take it back, but I think it was a couple of pounds in sale. So they might still have some. Um, That's it for... Oh, no, it's not. Keep wearing these in the summer. These are really, really old. They're rocket dogs. And they're just little pumps. I've put them in the washing machine too much. But um, if my hair, if my toes are hairy or I haven't polished my nails, toenails, then I'll wear pumps. And they're my favourites. This, uh, this is my interview dress, which I've been wearing a lot. Quite like it because of the grey panel on the black side. It makes me look a bit thinner. It's all good. These optical illusions. Um, and then this is just my play suit I've been wearing in the house and stuff. Um, quick TV favourites, Hollyoaks, love it at the moment. I'm really, really hoping that um, we get a new baddie because um, I don't really like um, the doctor, Dr Brannan whatever his name is, I want him to go, his mouth, there's something wrong with his mouth, looks like a fish or something, and it looks like someone's pooed in his mouth a lot, so that irritates me, um, maybe if he goes, Mercedes will go with him, and I don't like her either, um, so yeah, liking the Hollyoaks storylines, and I'm also liking Breaking Bad, we have totally rewatched all six, six seasons, I think it's six, um, eagerly awaiting for it to come back in August so we can watch um, part two of season six I think um, it's just brilliant it's on Netflix if you haven't seen Breaking Bad before I definitely recommend it watch the first two and then you'll be totally hooked definitely um, that's it I think yep absolute radio got playing backgrounds what we got now like this I just I play it and then I'm dancing around and doing the hoovering and job hunting and stuff so yep 18 minutes and a half babbling on again George Bear let me see if he wants to come and say goodbye to you guys Bear 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 what's this I've got something that rustles George no he doesn't love you enough so he just left with me no, he's taking himself off downstairs. He definitely doesn't love you. Um, mwah, love you lots. Big kisses. Oh, my favourite YouTube person this month is... Um, I've got two. Candy Johnson. She's just so inspiring. She just makes me feel so much better about myself. Um, definitely subscribe to her. And my lovely Cece Marie, um, who's my little American buddy. And... Um, we keep in touch through YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and we had like a little makeup swap. So I definitely recommend that. If you've got a friend or a subscriber that you talk to on YouTube and they're in America and you're in the States or vice versa, then do little packages for each other and send them off. We've done one. But obviously, I've not been working, so I haven't had any money to send her anything else. But um, there will be a little CC Marie pot and I'll put some money in and then... Um, when I'm working again I'll send her something else so um, perhaps um, I'll do um, I think I've mentioned the things that she sent me actually it was some cover girl bits and pieces that we can't get over here at all um, or wet and wild I think we can get wet and wild but you have to get it online we don't sell it in our chemists or drug stores as you call them so anyway yep 20 minutes Bubble, bubble, bubble. See you later.
enjoy your weekend, get as drunk as possible, do something stupid, um, something you'll regret, um, puke if you feel you need to, and just make sure you have a good time, and see you later.